Hey, it's the Trans Day of Visibility. Um, and well, I don't know about you, but I'm not exactly feeling a lack uh, of visibility right now as a trans person. But unfortunately, it's so much of the visibility that we are experiencing is so so deeply distorted, um, whether or not we're being, you know, othered or demonized or blasted with bigotry or fear mongering or conspiracy theories, uh, or stochastic violence or attacks or, uh, whatever. It, I mean, it, it's what happens when fascists, you know, Christian or otherwise try to leverage an out group, unfortunately, like us, um, in order to secure power. Uh, it's not a very fun thing to experience. To be honest, uh, I feel like it's a pretty intense time to be trans right now, including here online. Hi. Um, and a lot of people seem really, really scared. Uh, and to be honest, I, I, I can really understand that. that. There's a lot of folks who are feeling so alone and so isolated uh, and so uncertain about the future right now. And I want to talk about all of this stuff. So... Hi, this is a quick video that might not be quick. We'll see. We'll see how long this goes for. I'm just going to ramble. Uh, but first of all, I, I think it's so important to remember that being trans or queer or gender nonconforming uh, or two-spirited isn't a new thing. Uh, people like of us have, well, we've always been here with countless labels and experiences and understandings of our bodies and genders across cultures and throughout all of human history. And people like us will always be here. In most of the world, it's really only the last few centuries where people like us have been suppressed and repressed. Uh, we have always been here, and we will always be here. And, I mean, as we slowly undo this repression, I think it's really important to remember that progress isn't a linear thing. While we, you know, work together and collaborate to build what's hopefully a cooler and more authentic and supportive world, uh, there's going to be moments of triumph and relief and joy. And there will also be moments kind of like this one, unfortunately, uh, that feel pretty dark and overwhelming and hopeless. It's, it's really not linear. And, you know, to, to be honest, in my experience, this moment feels particularly rough. It's a down spot for sure. It's certainly one of the roughest moments that I've experienced in the in the years since I came out. Um, but I know from from listening to the stories and experiences of my queer elders and of those who were in the struggle before me, you know, back in the 70s and early 80s before I was even born and into the 90s and beyond, uh, they were facing incredible repression and violence and they still forged a, a community through their shared struggles. Um, and just just listening to them and hearing what they've been through just helps me to to recognize that you know this this too will pass and no matter how bad it gets well we have always been here and we will always be here uh, and you know we have each other because like no matter where you look in the world even in places with repression and suppression of queer communities to a degree that like the the weird christo fascists in the u.s could really only dream of right now um if you look in those places you will find queer community in the places that were violently colonized by state and church and you know quite quite likely the ground you're standing on right now uh you will find indigenous communities and cultures with their own understandings of sex gender and sexuality that are still here and I think this is where the, the bits of community and solidarity come in, because, like, it's these shared experiences of repression, the, those moments of joy and relief, and, you know, also um, those moments of frustration and fear that really binds us together as a community. And it's community that will help us to manage it and mitigate and resist when things are challenging, like they are right now. And it's community we can celebrate with when things uh, are joyous and fun and, you know, cool and good. We're really not alone. You are really not alone. Uh, and we will get through this together as a community. No matter how bad it gets, we have always been here. We will always be here together. Uh, that this has been a, a tiny trans day of visibility message. I recorded this in desktop mode, so I, I can't do a dramatic dab on my way out. Um, so instead, I'm just going to do a little wobble. So hang on. 
hang on, wobble commence, wobble commence, uh, love you, happy, well, happy is the weird word for it, um, existent trans day of visibility, <laughs> okay, I love you a lot, Zoo!